Okay then. Oh, so they're not in the sky when they throw you off the plane. Nope. This dude just I mean, it's from the article I read, who here saw that meme of the dude in the Burger King crown? During the pandemic, um, I just... remember seeing that, yeah. Hey, Vlad. Mm. You said you wanted to see the A10? 38. Oh, Where's my. Oh, uh, not that one. 38. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! That's, that's an A10 Warthog, my friend. It's not a Thunderbolt. Hit that bitch! Thunderbolts over the top of it, yes. Hit that bitch with oh, the fucking um... minigun! No, the A the A10 was also nicknamed Thunderbolt in reference to a World War II plane that briefly, kind of, sort of inspired it because the the old Thunderbolt was sometimes used or experimented with to attack ground. And targets. it didn't do shit. <laughs> that bullshit A10. Nah, it's it's, it's, it's got to be the old fucking P47. No, yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. It was given the nickname Thunderbolt in honor of the old Thunderbolt. Old Thunderbolt 2! Because the old, uh, the old Thunderbolt was used for, was used, or at least it was beta testing things that would eventually lead to this plane. And ah! They, they tried to load it with ammunition or rockets with the idea of, hey, why don't we have a plane that hits ground targets? Because World War II had some experiments with that, but they were all kind of, some of them were really, made a lot of sense. Like, oh, put air to ground rockets on an airplane. We, in the U.S., we call them Holy Moses or Holy Smokes. Um... But, a lot uh, of people all... underestimate this uh, this model, and this game did not do it justice. Yeah, okay. The, the bullets in that gu in the Gatling gun in the front are Rips. thicker than your forearm and can punch through tank armor with just its velocity. Yeah, no, I've 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 seen video clips and how fast they shoot. It's like, <laughs> like you hear that sound, you're fucked. There, there is a reason that it is nicknamed the Fart of God. The Fart of you God. <laughs> When you I'm, hear I'm the not even sound shitting of that, you, that's actually what they're fucking nicknamed as. <laughs> when you hear that minigun, like you hear that, <laughs> you're already dead. It's too late for you. You are not escaping. <laughs> right, so that gun is basically the fist. fist <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And it's it's why people always make so many like, oh god, the A10 Warthog. I need this like medically prescribed. I need my doctor approved A10 Warthog. I mean, you basically you just. I mean, this is fair, my medicinal what... A10 Warthog. I mean, to be fair, that's what Terminators use for their assault cannons, so I'd be okay with this. I, I need it. I need this fucking thing. I need the fucking. Also, I wanted to ask real quick while, like, the thing that Golden was fighting against just then that fucking Wish AT80. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's full of okay. I started watching a new like Japanese media uh, anime thing. Although it's like a fucking it's it's a series of games, visual novels, and fucking like two, like three animes. I think it's called Muv Love, and it's got to be the most like fucking bait and switch thing I have ever seen in my entire life. Hey Aeon, because like okay, so. It starts off, it's like, ah, oh, uh, like, fucking cute anime girls and skin-tight, like, skin-tight fucking Avon-Gellian bodysuits, right? And you're like, ha, ha, ha. Uh, you know what the whole plot of the thing is? What? So there's this race of aliens that, pe that humanity encountered during the space race called the Beta, which it stands for, like, so it's like an acronym for something, but the Beta are essentially these silicon-based life forms that Ouch. violently ripped apart the first contact team and eventually made their way to Earth. And the first three episodes of the anime, there are these girls preparing for war, and they have this thing called the 14 seconds. If you can survive the first 14 seconds of combat against a beta, then you have a pretty good chance of survival. Problem is, not a lot of people who fight beta last that long. And that's because beta come in a variety of forms from their warrior class which are these bipedal elephant looking things that have a trunk that can literally rip your head off they have the uh the soldier class which are these big red motherfuckers that have this like sensory organ that looks like a head but if you shoot it it does nothing uh their brain is located inside their like massive body cavity and they have a big old mouth 
So the first time you get to see what a soldier class does is, uh, like, ten of them rip open these this, like, mech. Uh, they're called, uh, TSF frames, which are, like, mechas that can run really fast and they fly really fast. Uh, the first thing you get to see a soldier class do is rip open one of those TFSs and just dismember, like, a 14-year-old girl. Oh, fantastic. And I'm talking, like, you see her spine as they're ripping her in half. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> so it's like, oh, I came in here thinking some, like, etchy, but with, like, I thought it was going to be, like, freezing, and then I'm like, oh, fuck, this is a bait and switch. This is Madoka Magic all over again. And then the rest of it is just, yeah, humanity has been, God, they've been fucked. Like, the beta are taking over the Earth. Hmm. And so, it, I, so humanity is fucked because all the betas took over. Yes. God damn it. So I, God. I, we fucking. <laughs> after fucking, hearing, it's exactly you, what you think it is. It's like betas. after hearing the explanation, I'm just like, okay, so. Ooh. It's, so it's preteens using fancy future text fighting me. space aliens, and I'm just like, this is just strike witches again. Not just, <laughs> not just preteens. They're like eight. Like, some of them, like, in Japan, they contract as as young as they can, but in America, they use, like, uh, like, older people. I can't remember. But, okay, so there are these things called super... They're like the supervisor <coughs> class. The super ordinate, which are, like, the, the high bosses, right? They're the guys who, like, look over everything. I'm gonna put in gaming chat. Uh, that's how many super ordinates exist within the, like, 1037? within the galaxy alone. No, that, that little marking right there. That that's like two ten to the power of thirty-seven. Yeah, that's ten to the power of thirty-seven. Oh, oh, that's, oh, oh, oh. What does that mean? So this is just not just like thirty-seven times ten. No. What, what is that? Like, do you know how squared? Do you know how squared? No, no, it's one. Was? It's it's one with thirty-seven zeros behind it. Uh, okay then. So, so that's how many of those super ordinates, the like leader class, exist within the Milky Way galaxy alone. Well, in that case, excuse me while I let out my giant fiery fart. That's just the leaders. Those are the guys who like give the orders. They're like the weak ones. But this is how many beta overall exist within the Milky Way. Fuck off. <laughs> that, that made me... Right. <laughs> so this is what happened. The Beta were created by a race of beings called the Creators, which were silicon-based life forms, and they gave the Beta a simple objective. Recycle. Just recycle resources. And the Beta took that as, well, silicon life is the only life, like true life. Carbon-based life cannot happen naturally. So they just wiped out all carbon-based life everywhere else in the Milky Way. So it's basically a living race of aliens. Yes, they kill they kill organic creatures and then recycle them to make more beta. Okay. And there are, by that number, they are the most populous thing in the Milky Way galaxy. Literally, humanity is surrounded. Hmm. And so, one like, of the... it's, so it's created the problem of how the fuck do you win in this yes. situation. So this is the this is the crux of Mavlov original, Wee. right? The original Mavlov story. Your character, your main character, uh, is a character on like a normal Earth. There are no beta, no nothing. Uh, you just you're going to school, happy visual novel times, and then he gets ripped from this world and pushed into another universe where the beta exists because. Humanity has started, like, who here has seen uh, The Tomorrow War? With, uh, with, uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, what's his, the fucking, uh, Star-Lord. Uh, ah! Chris Pratt. It's an Amazon. Guardians of the Galaxy? So, yeah, so, uh, Chris Pratt was in a movie called Tomorrow War where, like, Over two people hours in the future in, started going back to the past and contracting, Still, here's my prime like, resub. conscripting people what did from I the miss? past to fight a war in the future. So the, the people of the people of the Mud Love universe of the Beta universe started conscripting people from other universes <laughs> to come and fight the Beta. Oh, fuck you. 
I forgot about that fucking beam. Jesus. Cause like, how the f exactly the question you asked, Logic? How the fuck do you win? Like, I I remember talking to um, I remember talking to Aeon about this when discussing things like Ruby and other adjacent shows that had villains that, for all intents and purposes, can't be stopped. But it's like you kind of lose me at the very moment you present a force that is like just there is no way to deal with it. The author, the author has to save you, or an ex machina has to come in and do it. Like yeah. I no longer believe in the struggle of the protagonists, and not in a way that like, oh, you come to the realist. No, it's it's worse. It's in an apathy way. Like what is it called? Darkness induced audience apathy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like if everything gets too hopeless or no outcome seems like it would be a good outcome, I'm not gonna find the story compelling. I'm just gonna not care. <laughs> also, they change. Too bleak to even get invested in. Also, the TV tropes kind of got rid of that. They stopped calling it darkness and uh, dark audience induced apathy. Now they call it too bleak, stop caring. I mean, yeah. I mean, same shit. Yeah. Different. Same shit. Day. Good God, how long is this going on for? Same shit, different color. I think it glitched like, the game. It. It makes me. Like, this whole. Like, the whole thing just makes me feel this sense of. Like, because. They pushed back, so the, where the beta mainly landed was in Europe, specifically this, like, Siberia, like, in Russia. That's where they landed and started to expand outward from. <laughs> I feel like this should be the objective, right? Okay, every time the explosion happens now, take a shot. <laughs> this is like the 16th time that explosion. 17. Let's <laughs> You're gonna die of alcohol poisoning at the end. Twenty. <laughs> so this is my. This would be my solution if they have the like ability to like pull people from y other universes. I think you should like buckle down on the technology to just start evacuating people in mass to other universes. Right? That would be my solution. That, that would. Yeah. Like just immediately start, a smarter decision. Just buck Why? just start <laughs> just start buckling down. So also there's like heavy racism against uh Japanese people in the Mother of Universe because when like Japan was attacked, because like uh not like another beta like fleet <laughs> showed up on Earth and like crashed into the Pacific Ocean, uh, a lot of Japanese people just cut and ran. They like fled to America or wherever. <laughs> And so people see them as cowards. Oh my god. And I just... Yeah, <laughs> I can't sit Basically. there much longer. <laughs> I was gonna say, just... we're literally watching a Michael Bay game rendition, but you have to watch it from far away. <laughs> yeah, you have to just, watch, just watch Transformers, but it's very, very far away. Uh, and now, the funniest thing you've ever seen from really far away. Apples! But yeah, Mublove's pretty good. I like the technology they use. Uh, like, all of their TSF frames are named after, like, uh, like Flightcraft. Like, the most advanced version, like, the most advanced TFS, TSF in the American arsenal is literally the there we are. to a Raptor. Wow. It's no, a Raptor. You know what I'd like to see more in just any anime that has, like, future war tech on its side? Hmm. I want to see more Metal Gear adjacent designs because that's some of my favorite wartime tech. <laughs> Metal Gear Sahelanthropus is my favorite mecha of all times. I mean, because I'm opposed. I'm gonna cool. send this to you, Logic. Okay. It's kind the the TS especially the American uh, TS TSFs have like kind of like a Metal Gear looking aesthetic. Why is it okay? Why does it have a penis? Why yeah, does what have a penis? This, gi this giant mech that like, Vlad has shown me. Why oh. Why does it have a penis? And where like, I know, that, I know this is weird for me to say because I just talked about Sahelanthropus, who also has a gun where the penis would be on their anatomy. But, like, this God. one is this one is much more explicit. Well it's, it's just a penis. It's just a penis. Also, oh, yes. I fucking love. I'ma send this to you, uh, Solar. Hmm. I'ma send. I'ma send this to you in the Love Universe. This is the 
This is the goddamn. <laughs> this is the goddamn A10A Thunderbolt mech. Wait, Muv Love? Yes. Goddamn autopilot! Fuck off! I'm, I'm not leaving the stage. For like the past couple of minutes, bro. <laughs> yes. Uh, he has sorry. been. I was, I was expecting Riley to have a lucid moment of, wait, you're talking about that, and then all of a sudden we learn that Riley knows more about it than we initially thought we did, and he's just like, oh no. No, I just, uh... It's like, mm. get that cursed thing away from me. <laughs> I've seen so many dismembered children. Wait, what? You don't remember yeah. that from the first three episodes of Muv Love Alternative, I Riley? I didn't watch it because, honestly, from the premise alone, I wasn't really that interested. But I do know of it, and it's infamy. Yeah, it's got it. Like it is kind of. It's like a bait and switch type of thing. Like the first three episodes, you're like, oh, this high school girl, high school girl, like fucking goddamn Evangelion <laughs> body suits, blah blah blah. Uh, so I got and then this they... new anime plot. So basically, there's this high school girl. She's got huge boobs. And then a fucking <laughs> alien the size of a goddamn school bus shows up and rips her to limb from limb. Also, um... <laughs> is, that a, is that a goddamn dolphin? Yes. Is that a dolphin pilot? Why? Why? I'm never new to you. Goddamn dolphin flying a plane. That ain't real. That shit ain't real. People were born after the year 2004. Fuck that shit ain't real. <laughs> Yeah, that ain't real. That ain't real! I mean, 1990 was only like 10 years ago. God. You're 10 years ago. Got him. Uh -huh. See if I can that was try like to get him. the weakest him. one I've ever heard come out of your mouth, Solar. Correct. <laughs> come on, man. I think it, I deserve the... the effort. <laughs> so what does the dolphin do? Um, why? Why are none of those missiles actually tracking their target? Oh, because oh, they were using mother? chaff. Yes, oh. it is. Motherfucking... Motherfucker! God, God damn it! Damn. He is the chaff. Alright. Fuck, 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 fuck! Yeah, that's me in a nutshell. Yeah. I'm also, that really well, you just be like that. also, yes, that little laser does a shitload of damage. Yeah, Vlad, while you were explaining the plot and the things that happened, the moment I heard you talk about the violent dismemberment, I'm just like, oh, it's one of those that's going to be a bit too much, so I'm just going to not. Piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, it, dude, it's, right. it's worse because fucking... Okay, so the before the infamous de dismembering, uh, there's a very heartfelt moment of the girl who's about Please. to be dismembered telling her friend to shoot her. Cause she For the love of God, want... take the shot! Yeah, she doesn't want to be eaten, and then the girl fires <laughs> off like the entire clip, and you think she might have shot her, but no, she's been no. The girl is already dismembered. <laughs> mm. And then this fucking Ow! badass shows up in his T S his T S F and just starts slicing apart Beta with a fucking massive katana. Oh, well, I'm glad he took. Man. Well, I'm glad he took his fucking time. Jesus. Oh yeah, he. He took a while because apparently he had been fighting his way from one end of the city to the other. Because there are these things called laser class, which are like, they're literally just fucking beta that shoot like a, like, concentrated plasma out of their eyes. <laughs> so it is Radical. Neural from Strike, which is that. Yes. I, I wasn't just being reductive. It's, and it's, it's the Neural. There, ah, there damn is, it. There is laser class and heavy laser class. Oh, or, as Heavy Laser Class is known by its scientific name, Magnus Luxicus Unonoculus. Or its common name, the Magnus Lux. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, they've got scientific names for these things. Unnecessary. <laughs> Amazing. Unnecessary. This is bullshit. Hey, is like takes out gun that's also a chainsaw. Unnecessary. The only science I need to know is do they bleed? <laughs> There's the carrier <laughs> class, which is literally just called the Mega Worm. It doesn't have a scientific name. Uh, and carrier class is a very good. Uh, it's an app name for it. It's a it's a giant worm that is 176 meters tall, 
1,800 meters long and 176 meters wide. So that's a rip one. Up while you're saying all of this stuff, like, how do you know these random numbers off the top of your head? Because I played, a, to I played a fuck. Okay, editor, I know that we didn't interact all that much. But there. I, my brain has been like denoted as a fucking lexicon for subjects that interest me. You know, Vlad is hardcore dedicated to stuff that he's in. When something catches my interest, I'm like, I need to know about this shit. I'm the same, just not quite as energetic. OW! <laughs> Fucker! I'm the Get same, over here! I just don't give a shit. <laughs> I fucking love- I love the numbers, though, because it's so absurd! Like, that many beta exist in the Milky Way galaxy? How the fuck- it, and it's, like, the superordinate that they talked to that divulged this information said that there were more of them scattered throughout the entirety of the universe. All the other star systems. So how the- how many of these fucking things are there? Like, is this universe? Ow. This universe that the characters exist in, is it just fucked? Are they the last organic, like, carbon-based things left in existence? Apparently. And now we're in Salem territory. Like, what the fuck? How the fuck does this even make sense? It's like, how do you, it's like, how do you fight this is not a question you want me to ask about your franchise. Like, yeah, because like, again, at some point, I gotta realistically. If you want me to believe in your protagonist or their struggle, I have to realistically believe they have a shot. Yeah, yeah. do like, they unless, have a shot? Do I defeat a, this? How like, do I defeat her? You can't. Like, unless there's. Is like, exactly. Is like, unless there's a Phantom Menace style off switch for all of the fucking Noroi. I'm just calling them Noroi from now on because it's basically the same thing. But it's like, unless there's a magical Phantom Menace off switch by killing a very specific nope! thing, it's like, like there's skewed odds, and then there's just, but then there's you, just... Yeah. yeah, God himself, God himself, or slash the author is going to have to come and save you now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> it's weird because like the the a lot of people think like because the story is still ongoing, they believe that like contacting the creators, whatever the fuck those are, is the answer. The author, and probably. <laughs> maybe, maybe, but here's the thing. The superordinates, the leader classes, they have, like, a connection to the creators. And it's, like, inferred that the creators just don't care. Not surprised. <laughs> like, they're just, they, they see their creations as fulfilling their prime directive. It's like fucking a plot twist. God is a dick in this universe too. But it's weird. When is like, he not a dick? Like the superordinate that spoke to them, like it didn't try to kill it. Even though, even when the humans tried to kill it, it was like, I want to understand you. I want to understand fucking, what you are. Then stop fucking killing us. It's like Cause that just goes in the face of his mo that. Hold on, that goes in the face of its purpose if it wants to understand the things that it's mulching. Oh my god! <laughs> yes, Wait, exactly. I just found this on Twitter. I just found this on Twitter. Hang on. God damn! <laughs> <laughs> it's true, though. It's so true. <clears throat> yeah. yeah I like, the fucking, the superordinates are like, yeah, no, we, we, we were just made to, like, recycle, like, stuff. We were just made to recycle organisms and just make more beta. Okay, but why? That's what the creators told us to do. Okay, what's so special about these creators? Well, they're the, they're silicon-based life forms. Okay, what makes them so special? Well, they're silicon. That's the only true form of life. Carbon-based life can occur naturally. What the fuck does that mean? Where's your proof? Source, please. <coughs> Sauce, please. Why don't you back that up with a source? <laughs> and then a, sauce. a fucking superordinate that looks like Senator Armstrong walks out. My source is, I made it the fuck up. What is your source? Man, I'm a scene, Man, I'm a son. Son. <laughs> it was revealed to me in a dream. <laughs> My just, source is... <clears throat> It just infuriate. Like the story is dumb and stupid, but big robots <laughs> fighting fucking big I'm sorry, what? monster creatures. He's really, good. that's I all you need. 
I like it. It's big robots fighting big fuck off like giant monsters, and it's great. Why is I all of a sudden Volk that? taking the fucking credit? Because <laughs> I originally nicknamed Fart for this one. But <laughs> no, I, I always give it silly names in uh, streams. I had to look up two words, and both of those are wrong in my mind. I had to look Boy. up the key for this. Right, well, that, to... that about wraps up uh, the game Arrow Fighters Assault. Um, ever, there, ever, uh, Vlad, you've had quite the conversation, haven't you? I know. I, I, I went off about about uh, subjects that I that I have a knowledge of. I apologize. You don't need to apologize. I do apologize. Like, if anything, I'm apologizing for interrupting, but it's a... Uh, no, this was uh, this was Arrow Fighters Assault. Um, I like this game, but I know that it's not very good. It's a huge guilty pleasure of mine. You saw the weird bullshit that goes on in this game, so I yeah. don't think I need to explain much else. Uh, but I also, Vlad, I loved your reaction to the A10. It's fucking this is the A10. Let's go. 